We started looking at the technologies that were out there that were more affordable. And one of the biggest ones was using 3D printing because it can create that customization at a low cost. The challenge though is that a lot of the 3D printing that's out there that does that at that low cost does it with hard plastics. Traditionally, uh, more rigid uh, thermoplastics like ABS and PLA have been used. Um, a little more rigid, uh, not as conformal. It's not very comfortable and it doesn't really allow them to pick up things easily. And so um, when we started seeing some of these almost rubber band-like materials being able to be printed with uh, those same 3D printers that were fairly affordable, we got really excited about the possibilities. The history of 3D printing, uh, the technology was typically used for rapid prototyping and it's evolved now to be used more for uh, load-bearing parts. So it's critical to understand how these parts perform mechanically. And then we want to integrate this knowledge that we've gained from this testing into computational tools that allow us to predict how those hands will perform. And so we test different temperatures, we test different speeds of that manufacturing process. We do a matrix or a test matrix of all these different properties that we can control. So it gives us a way to uh, computationally build, if you will, and sort of test a design in a computer before we actually produce it physically. And so now we're able to design at a faster rate and we're able to predict how these designs will work without having to have all these mechanical tests.